Today, a big step here to mitigate the water crisis right now in southern Nevada. So the Water Authority is now giving a tour of the new water pumping facility meant to access the deepest levels of Lake Mead. And Kelsey McFarland is joining us live in studio now to show you why this new system is needed. Kelsey, good morning. Good morning to you both. Well, Lake Mead supplies 90% of our water supply, and if you've been to the lake lately, you've likely seen the alarming water levels showing where our water levels once were and where it is now. Water levels just dropped low enough that we can now see the top of one of the water intake pipes. So today, a system that the Southern Nevada Water Authority created in response to the declining water levels will go from the testing to the operational phase. So this is video of the construction of the system. It's called the Low Lake Level Pumping Station. Now this system cost hundreds of millions of dollars to build. It'll also be able to deliver up to 900 million gallons a day to the Water Authority's facilities. We have a deep water intake on the bottom of the lake, and now we have the full capacity to be able to pump the full elevation of Lake Mead. So if water levels get so low that water cannot be released through Hoover Dam to downstream water users, we here in Southern Nevada will still have access to our supply because of intake number three in the low lake level pumping station. So this pumping station is meant to help, but water authority reps say we still need to conserve as much as we can. It's important to be frugal with your outdoor water and change your sprinkler clock four times a year because that's our biggest water user. The water authority recycles all indoor water and returns it to Lake Mead. And that tour will be happening later this morning, so we'll show you much more about that process and how it works in our later newscasts and, of course, online at KTNV.com. In studio, I'm Kelsey McFarland.